Hello, everyone. That's Pastor James again with another uh, midweek devotion. Uh, I missed last week. I was uh, out of town uh, celebrating our wedding anniversary and had a nice, uh, nice time away. But it's good to be, good to be back. And wanted to, again, offer uh, uh, a midweek uh, opportunity just to turn to the Word and and uh, be renewed uh, in our faith. And this week, uh, I want to talk particularly about the importance. Uh, of prayer in the evenings. Uh, evening prayer, of course, is a formal uh, prayer in the church. It's called Vespers, uh, from a Latin word for uh, evening star. Uh, and Vespers, or evening prayer, has always been an important uh, part of the church's uh, worship life. It's uh, why we do uh, uh, have Vesper services uh, for Lent, and why we've added those for, for Advent uh, as well. Um, you might wonder why. You know, why is evening an important time to turn uh, to the Lord in prayer? Uh, and it seems to me, as I uh, think about that, that evening, uh, when the sun begins to uh, descend, uh, is a time when uh, sometimes our fears uh, can be awakened. You know, there's almost an evolutionary reason for that, uh, isn't there? Uh, nighttime is a time <clears throat> when predators uh, are more... Uh, able to, uh, to strike their prey. Uh, it's a natural time uh, for really all of God's creatures that aren't nocturnal uh, to get a little more concerned. Uh, and uh, as humans, um, you know, we of course have buildings, we have lights, we have fewer reasons uh, to be concerned at night, but there's still something almost instinctual, isn't there? Uh, it's why we often uh, have trouble sleeping because our fears and our worries seem to come out at night. Uh, and so God offers us this opportunity uh, each evening as the sun descends to turn to God once again for evening prayer, uh, for vespers, uh, in whatever way uh, that we can. Uh, and it doesn't have to be in a church like this for a formal vesper service. It can be our, in our own uh, prayer time. Uh, and one of the ways that the church has always done that uh, when we've done evening prayer is to, of course, use the book of Psalms, the prayer book of the church. Uh, and one psalm in particular is often used for evening prayer, and that's Psalm 141. Uh, these words, I imagine, will sound uh, familiar to you. Uh, let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. O Lord, I call to you, come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I cry to you. I let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Beautiful uh, words from Psalm uh, 141 that have uh, inspired uh, me to write another sonnet. Uh, and if you're still watching these midweek videos, uh, you must not mind me sharing these uh, sonnets. And so here's a sonnet for evening prayer based on Psalm 141 uh, that I wrote. Uh, many of the sonnets that I've written have been in the evening. Uh, out on our, our back porch uh, after the family's asleep, uh, I often uh, turn to the Lord in prayer and begin work on uh, a new sonnet. And here's the one inspired by Psalm 141 for evening prayer. Let my prayer rise to you as incense. The sweet fragrance of this evening's need ascend to your throne, awaken your sense, and entice you to pay my prayer heed. Let my worries, concerns, and frustrations Rise to you this night, transformed to prayer, that I might let go my obligations and entrust all I hold dear to your care. As this unique and precious day ends, Lord, I give thanks for it all, for everything. For you were with me, all my prayers heard. But hear now this last request ascending. As I close my eyes and return this day, when I rise, let it be with you, I pray. So a prayer uh, for evening, a time that we 
are invited to let our worries, our frustrations, our concerns all uh, ascend to the Lord, transform to prayer, uh, that we might close our eyes in trust uh, and in faith, knowing that our Lord is with us uh, this night and will be with us when we rise. So I hope this is uh, helpful to you. Uh, just a reminder to you of uh, the, the blessed invitation that we have to turn to our Lord each evening uh, in prayer. Uh, let, us, let us close with a word of prayer. And this is actually a prayer written by uh, Dietrich Bonhoeffer for his fellow prisoners. You'll remember Bonhoeffer if you've been watching these videos. A Lutheran pastor who was imprisoned by uh, the Nazi regime in the uh, 40s in Germany, eventually executed uh, for uh, his role in a plot to overthrow Adolf Hitler. Um, spent t about two years in prison, uh, wrote a number of letters and papers, uh, and including uh, this beautiful evening prayer for his fellow prisoners. Let us pray. Lord, my God, I thank you that you have brought this day to an end. I thank you that you allow body and soul to come to rest. Your hand was over me and has protected and preserved me. Forgive all weakness of faith and wrong of this day, and help me gladly to forgive those who have done wrong to me. Let me sleep in peace beneath your protection and preserve me from the assaults of darkness. I commend to you those dear to me. I commend to you this house. I commend to you my body and soul. God, your holy name be praised. Amen. Amen. And may God bless you and keep you uh, this evening or whenever you're watching this video uh, and always. Yes.